concerned. Brother Ed went to a decoration today and they had food. Right, Brother Ed? Too much. Too much. <laughs> when I got home today, there was about 25 to 30 people at my house and every one of them eating. They were, I, I, I told them it looked like you that I'd be kind of late getting in and part of the things we're on the Eastern Time Zone up there and uh, I knew I'd be kind of late getting in and I said, now you all wait on me. Of course, I think you was joking. And when I got home, everybody had a big plate and they were eating like horses. They were eating and eating and eating and they said, maybe there's a little bit left in there for you. Eat corn, huh? <laughs> Well, when I, went, when I went into the kitchen, the table was spread, and it was hard to tell that anybody had even eaten out of it. So what I'm saying tonight is, I ate too much. I've got a self-imposed proof that I eat every meal out of a little breakfast plate and no seconds. I, I, I just don't go back for seconds. Well, they didn't have any little breakfast plates out, and they were, they were, they were all eating out of the, out of the styrofoam plates, and... All they had was the big rectangular. <coughs> well, I, I'm just not going to. When I fill the when I, when I fill the plate, I'm used to filling it up. Whether it's a platter or whether it's a little breakfast plate, so I ate too much. If there wasn't that, where all of that was headed, I ate too much. But I'm simply saying tonight, we eat in order to have strength to make progress. We eat in order to have strength to do what we are supposed to do in this life. When a child eats, they are growing. <laughs> I said it all years and years ago that he was an eater. And I'll tell you how much, how, how, what kind of eater he was. And I can't take all this time for all these. But and I thought I already promised you I'm not going to make all the sermon out of each one of them. But he can eat a whole large pizza at any second. Now he was an eater. Well, when my late wife was sick, I did the cooking. And I've always cooked restaurant style. If there was five of us, I cooked five pork chops. Seven of us, I cooked seven pork chops. If it was pork chops that we happened to be eating, I cooked one for free. We sat down to the table, and when everybody got a pork chop off of the platter, it's all gone. My son in law looked up at me and he said, What would you have to do to get two pork chops in this house? I said, Bring one with you. <laughs> so, my point is this. When we're young, we eat to make progress physically. And our spiritual nourishment comes from the Word. The yes. Bible says that faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. And I can go on and on. So we need to follow Him in spiritual growth. Second, we need to follow Him to the place of public worship. He was a believer in public worship, and I am preaching to the choir tonight, so... I'm not saying this at all with any corrective attitude. I'm simply saying it's a great privilege, but it's also a responsibility to go to the house of God to worship. And Jesus was a good